I just got the Tama Speed Cobra 310 double kick pedal. That's their mid-level model. Let's open it up and check it out right now. It's not just for thrash metal anymore. I play a lot of hip hop, a lot of lo-fi, jazz, funk. It's a fun way to add a little extra spice to my playing, so I'm looking forward. I haven't played one of these in a lot of years. It's a heavy, solid pedal. It's even got felt on top of the sprocket there. I like that. Okay, so this is a long footboard. For comparison, here is the DW5000. I've had this for at least 25 years. Uh, it's toured, it's played lots of gigs, it's recorded a bunch, and it's been a beast. But I just wanted to try something different. Okay, so that's definitely a longer footboard by quite a bit, so I'm interested to see what that feels like. What do we have for grip on the bottom? Hmm. All right, so not Velcro, but it's like a rubber skid pad at the heel and up by the toe. We've got, of course, two spikes that can go down into the carpet, so... And that's the slave. This one really does not need to move around. Same thing, rubber skid pads on the bottom. This is the master pedal. It'll be connected to the kick drum, so not as likely to scoot around. No spikes on the front. That's okay. It's got a clamp to clip onto the kick. Overall, they feel very heavy. They feel well built. Let's see what the side-to-side -side action is like. There's like no side-to-side -side on this. I've got maybe a sixteenth of an inch of wiggle, so it feels pretty tight. Double chains on both pedals. Let's see what the beaters look like. Have a felt side and a hard plastic side. This piece connects the pedals together. It's adjustable. I can adjust the length, which means I can set the width of my feet. So there is a hole down here for the Cobra coil, which is basically, it comes on the 910, and it is a spring that sits under the footboard, and it provides rebound. It pushes the pedal back up towards your foot, doesn't come on the 310. I do know that I can order them separately and add them to the pedal if I like. I think they're about 20 bucks a pop, not totally sure. So not a very complicated setup. We have a master pedal, we have a slave pedal, then we have this piece that connects them with U-joints on the end. All right, so to start putting this together, I am first going to connect the spring onto the cam. On either side, these are fairly loose. Got some decent action. All right, so to tighten this up, here's my lock nut. I have to pull this down and it's got a square head right by my thumb and forefinger. And that keeps it from turning when it's engaged inside this piece here. So I'm gonna give it a few spins while I'm pulling down. Okay, so then we need this pedal to control this beater. I'm gonna do this backwards just for you. The end of this U-joint will connect onto this nub here. And same thing over on this side. There is a flat side to this, so I'm gonna pay attention to where that is. All right. I need to do the same thing over here for the slave pedal, but it's just laying there. It has no spring tension on it. So I need to bring it up to roughly where it's gonna be. And, okay, there we are. So to adjust the beater angle and the footboard angle, there are bolts that my drum key will fit right on, on the cams. And if I loosen this up, apparently I can adjust this. Oh yeah, I sure can. Okay, that's super simple. Feels smooth, looks good so far. And with these U-joints, I can set at any angle. It's gonna continue to operate that pedal. Okay, maybe not that angle. Before I put it down on the floor, I'll go ahead and loosen these up a bit. And that's gonna give me the ability to widen or make my stance more narrow. So once I get this on the floor, then I'll tweak. I'll tweak the width. I'll tweak the springs. I will tweak the footboard and beater angle. Cool, looks good. Let's throw it on the floor and hook it up to the kick. Everything is set down on the floor. Connections are solid. Adjustments are all easy to make. I did find this other lug down here that I can use to even further fine tune the position of the slave beater. That gives me beater angle as well as side to side. Spikes are holding well down in the carpet. The pedal's not scooting around. The kick drum is not scooting around. Action is nice and smooth on both pedals. Everything feels solid and smooth. Let's play on this thing.
Look, I am digging this pedal. This is my first piece of Tama hardware, and I've got to say, I'm impressed. The build quality is great. I don't feel like it's going to be letting me down anytime soon. And it just plays really nice. It's smooth, it's fluid. That long footboard, I think, helps with that. It's physics, right? It's a longer lever, something like that. Anyway, it feels good, and my feet seem to just find their way to a nice, comfortable place on the footboard. Honestly, I can't imagine spending more than twice as much for the 910. I'm sure it's fantastic but the 310 more than meets my needs, and it's really exceeded my expectation. It's a great playing pedal. Thank you so much for watching. Now check out one of these videos for more rudiments, chops, and exercises. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to subscribe for all things drumming. If you are back for more, thank you so much. I'll see you soon. <laughs>